BrainWise presents Grade 5, Math, Quizby, Part 4 Calling all mathletes! Welcome back to BrainWise, your training ground for becoming math superstars! Today, we're pushing our limits with a quiz that will test your skills and make your brain sparkle! Are you ready to take on the challenge, mathletes? Let's show everyone what we're made of! Easy round. Number 1. A basket contains apples and oranges. There are three times as many apples as oranges. If there are 12 oranges, how many fruits are in the basket? Again, a basket contains apples and oranges. There are three times as many apples as oranges. If there are 12 oranges, how many fruits are in the basket? The choices are A. 15 B. 27 C. 36 D. 48 The correct answer is D. 48 Number 2 in five years, Sarah will be twice as old as she was three years ago. How old is Sarah now? Again, in five years, Sarah will be twice as old as she was three years ago. How old is Sarah now? The choices are A, 8, B, 11, C, 14, D, 17. The correct answer is B. 11 Number 3 A man invests $5,000 at a simple interest rate of 4% per year. How long will it take for his investment to grow to $6,000? Again, a man invests $5,000 at a simple interest rate of 4% per year. How long will it take for his investment to grow to $6,000? The choices are A. 2 years B. 5 years C. 10 years D. 20 years The correct answer is B. 5 years Number 4 Alex has a collection of quarters and dimes. He has Q quarters and D dimes. If the total value of his coins is $3.05, which equation represents this situation? Again, Alex has a collection of quarters and dimes. He has Q quarters and D dimes. If the total value of his coins is $3.05, which equation represents this situation? The choices are A. 0.5Q plus 0.10d equals 3.05 b 0.10q plus 0.5d equals 3.05 c q plus d equals 3.05 d 0.5q minus 0.10d equals 3.05 The correct answer is A. 0.5Q plus 0.10D equals 3.05 Number 5. Tickets to a movie cost $8 for children and $12 for adults. A group of people buy C children's tickets and A adult tickets. If the total cost of the tickets is less than $100, which inequality represents this situation? Again. Tickets to a movie cost $8 for children and $12 for adults. A group of people buy C children's tickets and A adult tickets. If the total cost of the tickets is less than $100, which inequality represents this situation? The choices are A. 8C plus 12A is less than 100. B. 8C plus 12A is greater than 100. C. 8C minus 12A is less than 100. D. 12A minus 8C is less than 100. The 
The correct answer is A. 8C plus 12A is less than 100. Woohoo! Round one down, Mathletes! You made those problems look easy! But don't let your guard down because the next round is going to be even more exciting! Remember, every challenge makes you stronger and smarter! Let's keep the winning streak going! Average round Number 1 A phone plan costs $20 per month plus 10 cents per minute of talk time. Which equation represents the total cost C of the phone plan for a minute of talk time? Again, a phone plan costs $20 per month plus 10 cents per minute of talk time. Which equation represents the total cost C of the phone plan for a minute of talk time? The choices are A. C equals 20M plus 0 0.10 B. C equals 0 0.10M plus 20 C. C equals 20.10M D. C equals 20M minus 0 0.10 The correct answer is B, C equals 0.10M plus 20. Number 2. Maria wants to save $100. She already has $25 saved and she plans to save $5 each week. Which equation represents the amount of money M Maria will have saved after W weeks? Again, Maria wants to save $100. She already has $25 saved and she plans to save $5 each week. Which equation represents the amount of money M Maria will have saved after W weeks? The choices are A. M equals 5W plus 25. B. M equals 25W plus 5. C. M equals 5W minus 25. D. M equals 25W minus 5. The correct answer is A. M equals 5W plus 25. Number 3. Complete the following function table. Which rule describes the relationship between the input and output? Again, complete the following function table. Which rule describes the relationship between the input and output? The choices are A. Y equals X plus 3. B. Y equals 2x plus 2. C. Y equals 3x plus 1. D. Y equals 4x. The correct answer is C. Y equals 3x plus 1. Number 4. Solve the following linear equation for x. 3x plus 5 equals 14. Again, solve the following linear equation for x. 3x plus 5 equals 14. The choices are A. X equals 3. B. X equals 4. C. X equals 5. D. X equals 6. The correct answer is A. X equals 3. Number 5. Which of the following equations represents a line that passes through the points 2, 5, and 4, 9? Again, 
Which of the following equations represents a line that passes through the points 2, 5, and 4, 9? The choices are A. Y equals X plus 3 B. Y equals 2X plus 1 C. Y equals 3X minus 1 D. Y equals 4X minus 3 The correct answer is B. Y equals 2X plus 1. Amazing job, Mathletes! You're proving that you can tackle any challenge that comes your way. Now, get ready for the ultimate test of your math skills. This final round is designed to push you to your limits. But I have no doubt you'll rise to the occasion. Go for it, Mathletes! Difficult round. Number 1. A group of workers can complete a job in 12 days. If for more workers join the group, they can complete the same job in 9 days. How many workers were in the original group? Again, a group of workers can complete a job in 12 days. If for more workers join the group, they can complete the same job in 9 days. How many workers were in the original group? The choices are A. 8 B. 12 C. 16 D. 20 The correct answer is B. 12. Number 2. An ant starts at one corner of a cube and wants to travel to the opposite corner. It can only walk along the edges of the cube. What is the shortest distance the ant can travel? Again, an ant starts at one corner of a cube and wants to travel to the opposite corner. It can only walk along the edges of the cube. What is the shortest distance the ant can travel? The choices are A. 3 edges B. 4 edges C. 5 edges D. 6 edges The correct answer is A. Three edges. Number three. In a three by three grid of numbers, the sum of each row, column, and diagonal is the same. If the numbers one, two, and three are used once each in the grid, what is the sum of each row, column, and diagonal? Again, in a three by three grid of numbers, the sum of each row, column, and diagonal is the same. If the numbers one, two, and three are used once each in the grid, what is the sum of each row, column, and diagonal? The choices are A. 6 B. 9 C. 12 D. 15 The correct answer is D. 15. Number 4. A spiral is formed by starting with a 1 cm square and adding squares with side lengths, increasing by 1 cm in a clockwise pattern. What is the perimeter of the spiral after 5 squares have been added? Again, 
A spiral is formed by starting with a 1 cm square and adding squares with side lengths, increasing by 1 cm in a clockwise pattern. What is the perimeter of the spiral after 5 squares have been added? The choices are A. 20 cm B. 24 cm C. 28 cm D. 32 cm The correct answer is D, 32 centimeters. Number five, the difference between the ages of two brothers is five years. Seven years ago, the older brother was twice as old as the younger brother. How old is the older brother now? Again, the difference between the ages of two brothers is five years. Seven years ago, the older brother was twice as old as the younger brother. How old is the older brother now? The choices are A. 17 B. 19 C. 22 D. 24 The correct answer is A, 17. Congratulations, Mathletes! You've conquered the final round and proven yourselves to be true math champions. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Remember, every step of this journey has made you a better Mathlete. Keep practicing, keep learning, and keep shining. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more math-tastic adventures. Way to go! Keep up the awesome work! And don't forget to drop your quiz score in the comments. Check out other videos from BrainWise.